Now, whilst I've uh, been going through uh, things in my life, I've looked and reached out to Christian men. And because of that, I met you. I met the Bible study group. Um, and because of those real, honest, honourable, supportive men, um, it's led me on a path to come and join you on this journey as well. And, um, you know, I think that's part of what being a Christian man's about. It's about lifting someone when they're down. And, you know, when it's my opportunity to lift people, I I'm going to be there. I'd like to think I'm really intentional anyway, but now I, I really kind of set myself some purpose because of this weekend. You know, the fact that I've started journaling, the fact that I'm going to change my morning routine, the fact that I've, uh, I've really kind of set intentional, purposeful, meaningful tasks for me. I have a really clear vision what my next 12 months looks, looks like, but now I have absolute clarity. It's, uh, yeah, it's actually quite inspiring. And I'm smiling as well, and I've not smiled for quite a while. <laughs> when I saw something that was targeting Christian business owners, specifically men, that resonated. And so I didn't hesitate. On the first call, I paid, I put it away, and I said, okay, you're gonna do it. I came here super skeptical uh, and just had my mind blown and realized what I'm actually capable of over the past three days of doing this. I uh, came here because on the outside, you would see my family as the all-American family will put together the three sons, the wife, the cars, the home. But behind the doors, my family was falling apart. My marriage was falling apart. And I didn't know who to turn to. I didn't know where to go. Uh, this is something that I don't know if I go to church. Do I speak to a pastor? Is there people around me that would understand what I'm going through? And when it came down to it, I, I realized that I needed to be around men that believed in God, men that had faith, men that understood that family's priority as well. And I was in a search and a journey to do so because uh, my marriage was falling apart. My relationship with God was falling apart, but yet on the outside, it looked like we were the perfect family and we were not. I've learned a lot with the mastermind and I would do it over again and, and again and again and again. My business is actually succeeding. I've been you know, getting ready to hire on somebody I've never even thought I'd spend the money on before. I was, I was too afraid to. Um, but scaling is, is what the mastermind is helping. You know, not only scaling your business, but everything else as well, so. It was really great to be around people who are like-minded um, because this balance doesn't exist in a lot of mentorships and I have not even heard of one. Uh, having attended uh, multiple, um, many I would say, uh, to have this commonality of faith in the Lord Jesus Christ, to have a commonality as fathers and husbands, to have a commonality of a drive for their business, a passion to reignite, um, while having the expertise that is required to add value uh, to business owners looking to succeed. Um, I, I'm. I'm, I landed exactly where I was supposed to. I never had anybody to talk to on this level. It's just incredible to see, to have somebody to talk to that's like, yeah, man, I'm there. Or, yeah, you know what, try this. And that alone is just, I mean, now I, I you know, I, although I have all the brothers in the congregation, not, not any of them are, you know, running businesses the way we are. Oh, like your, your wife was here and she said that she needed a leader, she wanted a leader, she left her other, you know, her first husband because that, she wasn't getting that. And I would, it would ruin me if my wife ever left me because I wasn't a leader. And I, I just realized how important that is to, act, to lead a household and, and to be a king. And now I have a son on the way who's going to need a king to look up to because when I die, it's going to be his to, to carry on. Like it really helped me like break through a wall that I had in front of me that I never realized that I had it in there until I came to this event. <sighs> a lot of anger, mm. resentment, and a lot, a lot more emotions that I discovered that I had. I was denying myself saying that no, that I didn't have it. And I find out that they were there and they've been pushing me back, pushing me back from the person that I can be, from the husband that I can be, the, the, the father that I can be, and the business owner that I, 
that I, that I can be I can be a, a lot better than I was. The man that came in, man, that's, that's gone, way gone. From all the areas that I care about in my life were addressed. And it's very rare that when you go to any personal development or uh, seminar training that you're gonna get every facet of your life. It's not just, hey, write down your takeaways and go home and work on them. It was deliberate. How can you make changes? Okay, what are you gonna do? And uh, moving forward, having the accountability after the fact is definitely gonna make the experience that was already fantastic uh, being implemented daily in my life to make the changes that I need. I have a lot of men in my life and I'm really alone because I lived life thinking that I wasn't doing it enough or well enough and that stopped me from actually just getting into the arena. It was easier to be out of the arena alone and afraid than in the arena just giving it. For the next 12 months and I'm a little nervous, well no I'm nervous but I'm excited because I know I can handle it and I know I will be surrounded by men who are doing it. They're going through the struggle, they're in the arena doing it and that gives me a whole lot of power and I'm excited for that. Most of the seminars I attend before and I spent a lot, a lot of money on personal development, this program actually crafted so well that uh, help to discover a lot of missing links and pieces and put the puzzles together and kind of have complete, complete uh, kind of a combo package. And we all like combo packages, like it's a better value. And they good, they put really good value, right? Right. Mm -hmm. What I've gathered out of this is clarity and purpose that has given me a direction and a way to go, brought me back to who I am inside and who I really am, not these burdens that, that made me who I was. And it gave me an outlet to let him go and get rid of him. I was able to leave some baggage behind. I was able to really learn what my purpose in life was. And I realized that most of my life I've actually been living other people's purposes. So it was time for me to kind of reflect and understand, okay, it's time to focus in on what my purpose is so I can fulfill, you know, what God has for me in life and what I'm supposed to do in my business and how I'm supposed to lead my family by example and really drive you know, my future forward to who I'm supposed to be before it gets too late. And so he's like, okay, this is gonna be amazing. I'm gonna just come back feeling like fire for business. Yet he came back and he has fire for, sorry. <laughs> he has fire for everything, for our kids. For me and our marriage, for his health and fitness goals, for everything. And it's just been, I hate the word or saying life changing, but it has been. So just this fire that Rise Up Kings put underneath him has, it's like everything that you thought was in sync and it's great but you don't realize how out of sync it is until it truly is in sync. And so I feel like now, seeing where we are, we're really in a good spot. We're in the best spot that we've been in a long time. Even though I thought a few months ago we were in a great spot, I didn't know it could get better, and it is. And so I leave here rededicated. I leave here with friends. I leave here with goals. I leave here with purpose and a plan. And I leave here closer to God. Everything that this weekend prepared gave me a sense of clarity. And, um, you know, I sit here and I think, would I have arrived at that point? And I think eventually I would have done, but would it have been a month or six months or 12 months? And, uh, you know, would I give up two and a half days again? to reach a decision as quickly as this? And the answer is yes.